Hey everybody, welcome to another Anderson's TV video. Um, this is a slightly self-indulgent video um, based on uh, some experiences that we've had recently using the uh, Two Notes Torpedo Captor X and uh, using it with a valve amplifier into a pair of studio monitors to see whether or not it really sounds massively better at low volumes than my current favorite or our current kind of favorite like King of the Little Mini Amps, uh, which is the Yamaha THR30. So in this mm. video, Pete is going to be swapping his rig between, he's got a couple of guitars here, that beautiful uh, doozy Paloma, uh, a Les Paul, his normal pedal board, which hopefully we'll get a picture of um, now, into using an AB box, switching between the THR30, which is here, and switching between um, a valve amplifier. So we've got a 30 watt um, valve amplifier by Victory here, going into the two notes Captor X, and then into a pair of studio monitors. These are Genelec 8010s. This is my my studio, sorry, my office rig is this. <laughs> I've taken this all out of my office, it's this amp. These speakers, two notes with some different pedals. So Pete, without yes. further ado, we're, we're recording all of this just using a little uh, Tascam, got a pair of stereo mics on the front. Uh, so let's hear, and in fact, let's not even tell the people first, let's just play a nice clean sound through one amp, then the other, and then, and then we'll, we'll keep going with pedals and distortion sounds, and you can see. So take it away, maestro, please. <laughs> That was anyway, yeah, the both, both at the same wow. time together. Okay, oh, so man, it's so difficult. I can't hear because we've got the... Uh, the. It's not ideal. I mean, I'm, funnily enough, even sitting behind this, I don't know why, the, the rear projection of both the, these speakers and these actually is pretty good here. So, but yeah, very, one of them <laughs> sounds like it's got a little less mid-range in it, maybe a more classic Fender-y sound. One of it sounds like it's got a little bit more mid-range in it. Yeah. But it's a good... I think the, the, the speakers we've chosen here are a good comparison to do. If we'd have gone for much bigger studio monitors, I think you'd have heard much more perhaps bass end coming yeah. out of these. But pretty 100%. amazing uh, similarity. So the reverb you're hearing is either the internal reverb on THR or the reverb from the Captor X for the um, for the valve amp. <laughs> uh, so let's just let's actually now show yeah. you. Let's hear the Yamaha, please. Let's hear the Yamaha. Here we go. Very good. Yeah, let's spring nice the, spring reverb there. Yeah, and here is the uh, valve amp. Valve amp. In terms of levels in here, with this is all like home use. You know, yeah. th th this is absolutely intentional, very low volume here. And I think they both sound fantastic. And yeah. on that particular one, I'm not really hearing anything for me that would necessarily justify the additional expense of going down the valve amp. However, and you can tell we've probably had a little bit of a noodle around beforehand just to see. The next step is now we're going to chuck an overdrive pedal uh, onto this, which is it yeah. the revival drive um, or a yeah, mix I'll of them? Yeah, I'll put the revival drive on there because you can set okay. that. Um, so, And this is, I think, the very first thing where you're going to start to... Well, I don't want to... In I, fact, let's do the same. Put the overdrive on and just switch between. Let's not tell okay. people which is which okay. first. Here we go. So here we I'll go. I'll put it on the back pickup. Okay. Um, so here we go. Here's one first. <laughs> Mm. 
Wow. I mean, I, I, know, I can feel there's a fear. There's definitely a feel in the just in the. In well, the, they don't even know which is which at the moment. No, so no, no, exactly. Sorry, but I don't know if you. I, I can hear more difference than when it was just the clean sound. I think I know that the Yamaha. I think the Yamaha had a different top end. It didn't compress quite the way that you'd expect it's the not, tube it's not to. natural compre- it's, let, let's now let's now hear the yamaha with the distortion yeah. pedal on it and also the reverb for me gives it away right, slightly. okay but um here we go so that's this is the yamaha now And now here's the pedal into the valve amp. Sorry, I just I just wanted to. It's clarify funny, to isn't it? Myself. When you just go A B A, the more you do it. I think the more your ears start to pick up the differences. Yes, but you also get more confused. That's how <laughs> I always have it when I when I do it too much. Like now, I'm just confused. I can listen um, myself to death. So to death. okay. I mean, <laughs> what are you guys thinking? The the, the purpose, I guess, of, of this demonstration is to go look. If you if we just look at the relative costs of these two things, the, the little Yamaha amplifier is 500 pounds. Yeah. Uh, it's the it's the 30, so it's the slightly bigger one. There is the THR10, which is a, a little bit smaller. There are alternatives to this in things like uh, Boss Katana Air and uh, Vox Audio. We've done shootouts on those in the yeah. past, but I think this was our overall preferred one. Uh, every, you know, it's a great product, 500 quid. If you go over Bash to this, I guess minus. in a, True comparison, you've got about a thousand pounds for the amp, you've got sort of 400 and something pounds for the uh, captor. I can't even remember how much these Genelex are. They're, they're not they're, cheap. They're not What's cheap. 600 quid a pair yeah, or something. something like I that. I might yeah. have made that up completely, but I think there's. Probably, and the pedal, the pedal board. Well, I mean, there's probably 2,000 quid's worth of stuff here before you've even looked yeah. at the pedal board. And but there I, is an argument that with the Yamaha, you kind of don't need the pedals because you've got lots of effects built in. So if you sort of go, the relative price difference here is significant, you know, like five, six times maybe this. However, of course, if you're a guitar player who already owns a valve amplifier and a pedal board, and a pedal board, yeah. then then really the relative difference is the torpedo plus a pair of studio monitors, and then all of a sudden you're going, okay, so it's not it's not massively different, and maybe this is still the way I'd rather go. Um, the next thing I want to do now is just <laughs> is to go to uh, this, uh, another one of the, the preamp tones within the Yamaha. I've yep. chosen the high gain one. I'll change one. the guitar. Um, settings wise, I've done very little to tweak the EQ. I've only used reverb and I've not used the app to do any of the clever kind of cabinet emulation stuff or anything. Again, on the, um, on the Victory, we're using the dirty channel, not that much overdrive. Um, I did, in fairness, if you go and watch our Captor X video, you'll be sort of, uh, you'll have a, be a bit more familiar with what you can do on the app. So I did create a different cabinet um, for, for the overdrive sort of channel. patch, if you like, for the overdrive channel and the clean channel. So if I now just select that, and let's do the, the jump between the okay, two again. So, so no, no pedals anymore. Now this is, we won't tell you which is which, we'll just literally boom de boom boom boom. Can we, have you got like a tube scream or just the boost side of the Dane or yep. something that you might you just use to layer up over the top and like we'll compare again. That. So here's before. So we, you know, nothing. you got a preference there. Did you like the first one or the second one? It's up to you, you know. Here we go. Here's a little bit of a boost. So this is the first one. You still don't know what it is. With the boost. Yeah. 
Here's the second one without. And with. Well, I, I know I've got a preference between the two. Uh, maybe you have as well. Pete, let's write A chord with the Yamaha, please. So okay. We just tell people which one they were hearing. Okay, this is the Yamaha. A chord with this one, please. So I think, again, you know, when people talk about valve amplifiers and that very soft clipping kind of compressed sort of it's very pleasant to the ear distortion, yeah. whereas I think, again, a lot of digital and, and solid state sort of emulations of that distortion still have that very slightly unnatural fizz on the top end. Yeah. I'm not even entirely sure. If we, ha if we just played this in isolation, I think everybody goes, it's a killer sounding oh, yeah. amplifier. No, absolutely. And it's quiet. Yeah, it's only really when you go, oh, here's a valve alternative next to it that you, your brain start or your ears are going oh okay it's maybe yeah maybe i didn't like that much. assuming well, of course that's now if, uh, if we're thinking that this is a bit fizzy let me just let me at least give it a shot i'll i'll, I'll try turning the, the treble down and we'll see whether or not we <laughs> Very shrill. Well, the other one. It's it's more natural. Uh, the the you can definitely hear the tubes uh, and the feel yeah. of it. I'm it's difficult for me because I'm sitting on the other yeah, side yeah. of this plexi screen uh, and it's all facing that way. But I, yeah, I'm looking I mean, forward to hearing it. I, I don't know that. I mean, I think this is probably enough of a demo it said it's not you know if you want to know more about thr then we've done videos mm -hmm. on that in the past if you want to know more about captor x then we've done a, a full length video of that too yeah it is but what do you want to buy if you've got the amp or a couple of heads yeah. at home maybe a clean and a dirty you know like two different heads yeah do you want to buy that that that's my or do you want to buy that isn't it that's kind if of if i'm if i'm starting from scratch yeah and i'm going you know i've got a guitar but i don't own an amp or maybe i do own an amp but it's just not a very good one you know it's like a, i don't know maybe it's just an old solid state amp from the 80s or something <laughs> and i just and i just got i've got a top limit of 500 pounds yeah to buy you know that's going to have to buy me everything pedals amp everything da da da, da. yeah then I, i'm going this all day long it's just fantastic however if either money's no object, you know, let, and there are loads of guys out there, I know, guys and girls out there, that'll think nothing of spending two grand on a PRS or a Les Paul or whatever. Yep. And then they'll look for an amplifier and they'll, in their head, they go, well, I'm only playing at home, so I'll just spend 300 pounds on the amp or whatever. It's like, okay. Yeah. But it's like, that's, I that's, think that's... I would be sitting there going, if you really want the best sound at home, it is doable with a traditional valve amp the mm -hmm. Captor X, or, or again, there are, you know, we've talked about this before. You know, there are more expensive versions of the of the, yep. of the Captor mm -hmm. X by Universal Audio and, and, and Boss, but Captor's great. And then a decent pair of little monitors. Again, these little studio monitors are fairly expensive. Yeah, you, you can know, buy you, you can buy a you know for hundred quid each. Or you could spend two hundred pounds on a on a pair like yeah. that. Or you could or you could get bigger ones if you want the sound to be bigger. But I really really like these, and I, I think for. We used when Pete Thorne was here and he had his little sur head that had yep. the sort of load box inside it. That's what he had one of these on top of it. And it did, these sound really good. Yeah. Well, look, yeah. so there you go. You know, let's put some of the more ambient effects on it. Let's just, yeah, uh, go back if, to I, some clean if I go stuff. back to the clean sound on both um, and I pop back the, the, uh, the cabinet on this one. So there's, as I said, that's really my feeling for, for me, I have now changed my, you know, my office setup is, is this, uh, I can use it with pedals. I really, really like it. It's unbelievably quiet. I appreciate I'm in the privileged position where I either get given stuff for free or I get a very good discount for Anderton's. <laughs> um, so I get that, but 
I still, I, that's, I'm still hanging it out there. You know, if, if you're out there with three or four thousand pounds worth of guitars in your collection, really it doesn't, to me, it doesn't sound that crazy that you should try and have an amp set up that gets the best possible sound. And if it costs you a couple of thousand to get that sort of home use killer valve amp I setup, hear that, man. I'm like, I hear why, that. why wouldn't you do that? Yep. But, um, but that, as I said, that's not to say if somebody said to me, no, 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 that's all you're allowed is that. I'm still like, fine. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we can talk about this all day long. All day. But they, look, I tried to keep this video. We didn't go into too much detail about anything. It was very much about Pete. So let's let's end with Pete going yes. some beautiful big sounds um, through each. And thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Links below for more. Stay safe. <laughs>